Chapter 2 In the Graveyard That night, Tom went to the bed at half past nine. He waited for Huck's meow and at eleven o'clock it came. He climbed quietly out of the room window and then he and Huck walked out of the village with the dead cat. The graveyard was on a hill about a mile from St. Petersburg. When the boys got there, they put the dead cat on a grave and sat down behind some trees. They watched and waited. It was very dark and very quiet. Do you see that new grave there? whispered Huck. That's House William's grave. He died last week. But perhaps he can hear us. Tom whispered back. Do you think he can, Huck? I don't know, but I... Shh! whispered Tom. I can see something. Look! Huck moved nearer to Tom. Ghost, he said. Three of them. They are coming here, Tom. Oh, let's go home. They can't see us, Tom whispered. Not here. Ghosts can see through the trees, said Huck unhappily. They can see through everything. The ghost moved quietly through the graveyard and came near to the trees. Huck and Tom watched, very afraid. Then after a minute, Huck said, Tom, they are not ghosts. That's Muff Potter. So it is, and that's Injun Joe. And the other man is Dr. Robinson. What are they doing here? They are grave robbers, Tom. They are going to rob a grave. My father told me about it. The doctor wants a dead body. You see, he cut it up because he wants to learn about. Shh, said Tom. They are getting near. The three men stopped at Horse William's grave and Injun Joe and Muff Potter began to dig. Ten minutes later, the grave was open. Now, doctor, said Muff Potter, you want us to take the body to your house? That's five dollars more. No, said the doctor, I give you the money this morning. I am not giving you any more. Now you listen to me, doctor, said Injun Joe. I want that money. Do you remember a day five years ago? I came to your house and asked for something to eat. And you gave me nothing. So give me that money. He took the doctor's arm. But suddenly the doctor hit him. And Injun Joe fell to the ground. Don't hit my friend cried Muff Potter. He jumped on the doctor and the two men began to fight. It all happened very quickly and the two boys watched with open mouths. Injun Joe got up. He had Muff Potter's knife in his hand now and he moved behind the doctor. Then the doctor hit Muff Potter on the head. Muff fell to the ground and at the same moment, the knife in Injun Joe's hand went into doctor's back. The doctor fell to the ground on top of Muff Potter and he did not move again. The two boys could watch no more. Very quietly, they moved away from the trees and then, and then ran out of the graveyard and back to the village. Injun Joe stood up by House William's grave and looked down at the two men. Then he put the knife into Muff Potter's hand and sat down. Three, four, five minutes went by. Potter moved a little and opened his eyes. What? What happened, Joe? He asked. This is bad, Muff, said Joe. Why did you kill him? 
Mav looked at the doctor's dead body, then at the knife in his hand. Me? Did I kill him? His face went white and the knife fell from his hand. It's a whiskey, Joe. I never fight with knives usually. Oh, why did I drink all that whiskey tonight? I don't remember anything. It's okay, Muff, said Joe. I'm not going to tell anyone. You get away quickly. Go on, go now. Muff Potter got up and ran away. Joe watched him for a minute. Then he carefully put the knife next to the doctor's body. Then he too left the graveyard. The next day, the sheriff's men found the doctor's body in the graveyard and Muff Potter's knife. That night, Muff came to the graveyard to get his knife. But the sheriff men were there and they took Muff to St. Peter's little jail. And there, Muff sat for four weeks and waited for his trial. Tom and Hug could not forget that night in the graveyard. They were very unhappy and very afraid. What are we going to do? said Tom. Muff Potter did not kill the doctor. Injinjo did. We saw him. I know, Hug said. But what can we do? We can't tell anyone. I am afraid of Injinjo. He is dangerous and he is a killer. Do you want a knife in your back? Yes, I am afraid of him too, Tom said. He thought for a minute. I am sorry for Muff Potter, but you are right, Hug. We can't tell anyone about Injinjo.